Superwoof 24. I'm here on the roof of Schlappi Engineering with Eric. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. Is it for, is it for you not too loud here? Because this room here is super, super loud. <laughs> I think everybody plays here the music and it's super, super loud. And um, you have you bring to the Superwoof new modules. Yes. A uh, quick uh, information for the people, you are a company from the US? Or? Yep, we are from Portland, Oregon in the US. Um, there's really, <laughs> it's really, really small company from the US. You are a uh, one man company or? No, there's, um, a, another person helps me out um, with production and. Um, okay. So, <laughs> so two, two, two and a half. Maybe. And uh, you have a, a say a special concept for your modules. Are you more on a person who try to uh, create your own ideas, uh, or more you say what is needed on the market? Or I don't know what the market wants. Um, each one of our modules is designed both as an exploration of some sort of idea, and also as something that I need within my personal system so that I can play live, improvisational, electronic music. Okay. And uh, how would you describe your music? Is it industrial or, mu or no, elect normal electronics or...? He heavy electronic music. Heavy electronic music. That's why your, uh, some of your modules are more uh, really a dirty side. Yes. Uh, almost every one of our modules doubles as a distortion of some sort. Okay. But they usually have at least one other function, if not multiple. And uh, you are doing both analog and digital, or just analog, or...? Both analog and digital, and uh, a confusing space in between as well. And for Superboof, we have uh, several new modules. Our new modules for this year, the focus is on the BitMix and the BitBolt. They're both 4-bit, modules in that confusing space between analog and digital meant to work with our nibbler which came out at the beginning of the year is it uh, i ask you uh, it goes in the same a bit of the same direction what is doing cows with its bit uh, uh, sub uh, Leibniz, uh, subsystem so it does i i think we are inspired by very similar ideas i have not actually used the chaos one though i would like to um, my specific inspiration for this system was that previously I designed the three body, which is a very complex digital model using an FPGA. And uh, the nature of that technology involves getting to uh, the very basics of computing technology. And while the three body is quite complicated, it gave me ideas for um, modules using the fundamentals of digital computing technology and much more basic versions, uh, four bits instead of 28 or so. And the bit gives you also a very unique character. It's, I, I don't, it sounds very like it's cutted and it's a bit uh, glitchy and so on. So the idea is that um, binary, counting in binary is in itself musical because um, it corresponds to both uh, musical concepts like um, octaves. Each, each bit is twice as fast or twice the frequency. And it works both in rhythmic realms where you can generate ryth rhythms that are related in some way or at audio rate where you can generate frequencies that are related in some way. And. Uh... Maybe you get, give a, a little demo of the, the new module or uh, what? Now, the, the, so some of the features. In all the sequencing is done using these nibblers, um, generating patterns as you can see with the lights, and then they are combined using the mix. So you can so that you can have hands-on control of these patterns. So the bitmix and the nibbler 
are our rhythmic brains. And over here, the fit pole. It's converting from analog to digital. It's taking in a triangle wave and spitting out these square waves. But it is also doing a sawtooth wave folding type operation. If we remove the modulation, we can hear from some of the different outputs. We get different harmonics. If we apply control voltage, we get this sort of hard sync like sound. If we mix in another sound, we get these pretty harsh phase modulation tones. And if we start applying modulation to the three body, brain of it. So multiple nibblers interacting together are the brain. And um, so while those are the modules we're focusing on today, we also have some other modules meant to glue the whole system together okay. with a uh, hope for maybe a complete system to be announced maybe next year. Okay. And uh, you try, so it, uh, you try to make an entire big system with it. Yeah. All, everything is based around the three body. So the heart of the system will be the three body. The sequencing is this sort of live logic manipulation. As, a, as you have you now here multiple nibblers, um, they, can they be, be uh, connected internally? Or? They cannot be connected internally, but in this case, there is feedback going between each one. Okay. So they are modulating each other to make rhythms that um, really keep continue to change. Um, the um, you do not need to have three nibblers. You could use maybe one nibbler um, and pair it with some other clock divider or something. The nibbler really wants to be modulated. Um, and uh, all these modules, uh, there are some already. The nibbler is already available. The rest is, is coming. Yeah. The nibbler is already available. The bitmix will be available at the end of the month, uh, probably two hundred dollars. Okay. And then the bitfold will come out sometime this summer in a similar price range. How much is the nibbler? The nibbler is two hundred and forty. Okay. And uh, you are your modules are they? Uh, available at the classic stores like Schneider and... Yep, uh, I, 
you can, in the, if you're in the U.S., you can buy directly from us or from any of your favorite stores. And in the uh, EU, again, we have many dealers, Schneider's, Toman, uh, Signal Sound. Um, and they are, um, so these are also available in, in gray, yeah? What? So they're, yes. they're gray or black? So all of our modules are available in uh, silver brushed aluminum or black brushed aluminum. Um, the prototypes right now have PCB panels, okay. but all finished modules are in aluminum with aluminum knobs for that metal on metal feel. Okay. <laughs> then thank you, Eric. Thank you so much. I wish you a good Super Bowl 24 and hope to see you again. Then, um, yeah. Super Wolf this year, and uh, I, I, of course, wish good luck with the modules. Thank you so and much. Thanks you, and hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.